Hello everyone, good afternoon. I hope everyone is having a good time. In behalf of all these gorgeous bridesmaids and amazing looking groomsmen, I would like to thank everyone who came to celebrate the union of this lovely couple. For those who don't know me, I'm Justin, Kenneth's best man slash uncle. <clears throat> I wouldn't really call myself an uncle to Kenneth. I mean, how many of you, how many of your nephews call you Doug? <laughs> so, I have known Kenneth since we were kids. We pretty, we pretty much grew up together. As kids, I used to go to their house and we would do the most random or crazy stuff we could think of. My dad will always ask him to sleep over at our house. We would turn on the TV all night and look for a movie to watch. <clears throat> Back then we didn't have like internet, Wi-Fi and everything. So you wouldn't ev even imagine how, what, what struggle what, what is to find the perfect movie. <laughs> <laughs> Ken and I went to the same high, high school. I remember him setting this fashion trend back then. He would wear this vest over a V-neck shirt and wear these very pointed leather, sh leather shoes <clears throat> and have this very tight shorts on. I would, I would always make fun of him for wearing those shorts. I would tell him, hey, Dan, I like pilwala natot. But that outfit, you may call Badui right now, <clears throat> but that outfit was a killer back then. <clears throat> Everyone in school would try this outfit. I even tried it out myself. I would ask my mom to buy me. But it turned out that I, I have to admit that only Kenneth can pull that outfit off. <clears throat> um, growing up with Kenneth has taught me a lot. He is the most humble, responsible, and reliable man I know. He has the longest patience at the same time having the worst temper when he is mad. <clears throat> I'm proud of the man you became. Thank you for all those years with you having my back when I needed you. Thank you for giving me a second home and for all those advices when I didn't know what to do. You always led me on the right path. <laughs> Nicole, don't worry, I didn't forget about you. <laughs> By the way, you look amazing today. Oh, thank you. I would like to thank you for taking care of Ken, understanding him and loving him unconditionally. <clears throat> As we all gather here to enjoy this wonderful dinner, I'd like to make a toast to Ken and Nicole. <clears throat> Cheers to this new chapter in your lives. I wish you both the best. Congratulations. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do impromptu for this too. Okay. I'm sorry about my dress. <laughs> it's messed up already. Okay. Okay. I would like to share a story of them, how they met. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, it began with me and Nicole. Nicole was new in America. She's having this kind of, you know, when you're new in America, this culture shock, and you're looking, longing for friends, longing for everybody way back home. And she was only with me. And we had a big fight. It's like a big fight, me and her, for the first time. Nicole is very good. She is a very good daughter. She never gave me a single problem. I'm always proud of her. Thank you. <laughs> never give me a problem at all. And then one night, we had a big fight. She's new here. And that's all. And then the next day, I was, I was whining to my friend. That's Kenneth. <laughs> Uh, uncle, <laughs> he's my best friend at work. I was like, oh, I had a big fight with my daughter. Oh, okay. The, the, uncle, the uncle is a little bit something. <laughs> She's like, oh, we have to meet up these two. He, my nephew looked like Aljur. 
<laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so that's the story began. And then they exchanged number, they met up, and here they are. I'm so proud of you guys. I never knew it ended up like this. And can I know Nicole? She, she's our princess. Yeah. One of our princess, the other one is there. And the dad is not here. I'm representing my, the father of Nicole. And I would like you to take care of her. And I always trust you in the beginning. And thank you for being open with me. Sometimes I'm being open with Kenneth. <laughs> okay. And as was I said, as a mom, I always wanted the best for your, for my kids. And I always I always pray nah, hopefully someday my kid will have a partner in life that will treat them and respect them the way it should be, you know, as a human being and as a, as a couple, okay? I want you to trust each other. This is not important. Money is not important. What is important is both of you. Me and Papa always said that, that what is important, yung pagsasama ninyong dalawa, and you should always respect each other, okay? And I love you both from the bottom of my heart. I love you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ano sasabihin ko? Well, congratulations. Best wishes. And Ken, happy wife is happy life. That's it. <laughs> but as of you most know, I am Kenneth's cousin, but we grew up all together, so we treat each other as brother and sisters. Um, he's the only boy of all the siblings, so he's the prince of everybody. So naturally, all the girls are very protective of him. <laughs> but when I met Nicole, I knew I gained a sister. And I knew that Kenneth would marry Nicole because I saw the change and the growth in Kenneth when I <laughs> revisited. <laughs> I cannot wait to watch your family grow and to be the Nina of your children, of course. <laughs> and finally, Nix, congratulations. <laughs> and um, <laughs> best wishes. Thank you. Um, my name is Micah, and um, I've known Nicole for 10 years now. We met in nursing school, and we clicked instantly. <laughs> I've always felt protective of her. She's like a sister to me and she knows that. Um, I love being friends with Nicole because she's always this bubbly person that you know, she's energetic and when she comes to the room, she lights up the whole room. But um, every time I see Nicole with Kenneth, her smile shines even brighter. And that's when I know that Nicole has truly found the guy <laughs> yep, that she was going to marry. Um, I remember her telling me stories about Kenneth. And every time she talks about Kenneth, it's always that she's so happy. So I'm so happy that you found each other. And, you know, I. I know that you'll take good care of Nicole, Kenneth. I know you will have challenges with all relationships, but part of marriage is learning how to grow together and of course, um, supporting each other. So to Kenneth, um, thank you for coming into Nicole's life. Please take good care of her. And to Nicole, I've watched you blossom into this beautiful, mature, amazing woman who's now a wife. <laughs> so let's all ra la uh, raise a glass for the bride and groom. Best wishes and congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So <laughs> oh. I mean, Nicole has a lot of friends and. Uh, the people that you saw, uh, sila po yung mga kaibigan namin. Actually, lahat kami magkakahiwalay na ngayon. Other, uh, one of them, they're in Canada, UK, and UAE. Some of them are in the Philipp still in the Philippines. But they really want to say a message to her. That's why I, I mean, I set it up and I said, oh, I want to I wanna 
um, bring this in the wedding so Nicole could like hear it. So on the top, uh, uh, para tapusin ko na yon kasi ako na lang yung hindi nagsalita. Siyempre Nicole, hindi ako ready. Nakakainis ka. <laughs> I've known Nicole since college. Um, my classmate po kami sa nursing school. Maybe we clicked in because um, we have both passion in nursing. But the thing is, um, very shy type ako. And Nicole's very studious. So, lagi niya akong pinupush. My confidence, lagi niya akong, lagi niya sinasabi na, tara na, let's do this, let's do that. And, and yeah, um, we both click into each other and we became super, super close to the point na yung mga crushes namin. <laughs> Di ba? Madalas natin pinag-usapan yung mga crush namin and all oh, those kinds of things. Oh, no! <laughs> Hindi ako. Mas marami siyang crush, Ken. Hindi ako. <laughs> Pero crush lang. Crush, crush lang, diba? Yeah, first boyfriend niya siya, tiba tita. O, tapos ako din first boyfriend. O, syempre, diba? We're like, we're like, they, they always say we're like twin sisters back in college because yeah, we always do the same thing. But of course, different. Kami. Nicole is very kind. She always smiles. Me, I'm always nakabusangot. I'm always masungit. And Nicole is always like, you know, Judy, what are you doing? What are you So, yeah, I don't know, but yeah, this girl, she's really, she's really um, kind. She's very smart. As Tita said a while ago, Hindi talaga siya nagbibigay ng problema ever since kahit sa, sa ano namin sa ano po namin sa room as in very ano siya very mabait super ito yung fact never ko pa siya nakita ng unang galit pero madalas ko siya hindi madalas most of the time pag inis na siya yung hindi mo man madidistinguish galit ba to parang ganun nakatawa pa siya hi nakakainis ka ganun <laughs> and Nico will always just be like you know and then kapag so, sobrang galit na niya, iiyak na lang siya, gano'n. And then, one time, after so many years, <laughs> after so many years, yun po, syempre, nag-graduate na, we separated and everything, so, ayun, nung FaceTime, FaceTime na, ayaw niyang pakita kasi yun yung katabi niya. <laughs> Tapos lahat kami, kasi magpo-FaceTime po kami, kasama sila eh. so we have a group chat, so we, when we always click in, Oh, Nicole, parang nagtatago ka yata. Parang, <laughs> kasi hindi pa siya nag-story nun sa Instagram. Wala pa na, no? And then, hindi kasi ayaw kong pakilala. Masungit ka daw kasi siya. <laughs> but, but, Nicole, Nicole, she's always happy. And we saw how can change her. Because Nicole is, will always be like, she's, re she's already perfect. I mean, she's very smart. She's kind. That was she's very loving. Ganyan. I know, medyo ano siya, gullible. Pero that's that's okay kasi she's pretty innocent. <laughs> Yo, nung nung pinakilala niya si Ken, she always she lagi niyang pinagmamalaki sa amin, you know. Eh, lagi alam mo na nung ako ay nakokonsensya ako pag inaaway ko si Ken kasi lahat ginagawa niya for me. Totoo 'yung sinabi nila. Ken would always cook for her. Nagagalit si Ken pag di siya kumakain. Ganito, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So, so I, I told her, oh, sobrang love ka ni Ken. Sabi kong ganyan. Tapos sabi niya, eh, sabi mo kasi ng iba naming mga friends. Uh, tingnan mo si Nicole, no? So, sobrang saya niya kasi dream come true yan. Kasi sabi niya sa akin, kunwari po may lalapit kasi sa kanya before sa college. Tapos maliit. Kasi wala masyadong itsura. Itong babaeng to, syempre mabait. Hindi naman niya sasabihin, pangit Judy. <laughs> so, alam ko, may standard talaga to, choosy, sabi ko. Tapos, nung ba nakalala niya si Ken, ah, alam ko na, oh, dream come to true, sabi ko. So, masaya ka na ngayon. Asawa mo na siya. <laughs> so, um, first of all, after nang lahat na siya, congratulations to the both of you. I'm really happy kasi... I know Ken is gonna take care of you. Ikaw na mismo nagsabi. And I can feel it naman. And I can see it how happy you are right now. May God bless you both. Kasi you're, you both are a good person. And may God be the center of your relationship. I'm always here for you. We're always here for you no matter what. So, congratulations. I love you both. Thank you.
Hi everyone, a, pleasant, a pleasant evening to all. I hope everyone is having a good time. Anyways, here am I. To anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Ali, a good friend of Kenneth and Nicole, or I would say the bestest auntie of Kobe and Kaylee. <laughs> Unknown secretary of the couple. It is a pleasure to be the main of honor. I want to start off by congratulating you guys. These two people are, the very, are a very important part of my life. I'll start with the groom. I've known Kenneth since I was younger. We grew up in the same town. He's my best friend's cousin, Maria. Kenneth is known as the Kuya of the Koreans, very strict and always masungit. <laughs> We never got closer until we both moved here in the States. With Kenneth, I saw his struggles in life and his pain. He has changed a lot from what he went through from being a kid to being a man. That, it's, that is always protective and will never ever fail to touch our hearts. Even with the small little things. And I will always admire the love for his family that it became his strength. Our friendship is one of the most cherished things that I have, and I can't imagine a world without having you as my brother. Of course, I will not forget the bride. I met Nicole through Kenneth. When I first Nicole, I was confused. <laughs> you wouldn't think she's a nurse <laughs> because she loves to do TikToks, taking pictures, dressing up, all that girly stuff, as you all know. We are completely off opposite, but we just click right off the bat. We, co we connected so well from her nonstop exams, midterms, finals, to my back-to-back -back meetings. Ever since I met Nicole, I've known her as a person who is quick to listen, um, encourager, and someone you can always count on. One thing I love about friend, our friendship, um, what, I'm lost, <laughs> is we always make sure we make time for each other to the point that wherever and whenever we are in the world, airports, shopping malls, restaurants, everyone asks the same question, are you guys sisters? And I always remain quiet because I just can't stop laughing, laughing. but Nicole always lies and says, yes, we are. Our relationship as friends turned into a sisterhood that I will always be thankful for. I will always be thankful for because Nicole brought, has brought so much happiness in my life. Nicole and Kenneth, if you ask me, what would I advise you guys for marriage? I don't know <laughs> because I'm still trying to figure it out myself. <laughs> but every day is a process of learning. That's the best bet. But seriously, thank you for all the love and care, for always checking up on me, for always making feel that I am love, and I have a family that I can always count on. Oh <laughs> thank you for always welcoming me to your home. Definitely one thing I would miss when I move to Quebec. I will always love you too, and will always be forever for your, for your we always forever grateful for your existence. Now let's all raise our glass and give a lovely toast to the newlyweds, Kenneth and Nicole. Cheers to a happy and lovely marriage.